Ramsey on realagriculture.com. We're at the National Cattlemen's Beef Association meeting in San Antonio. Right now we're joined by John Gillespie. John is the chairman of the Beef Information Center. Welcome today, John. Yes, hi, Sean. Okay, John, uh, we're, uh, as I mentioned, we're down in San Antonio. Uh, what, is, what, do you, what is the Beef Information Center trying to accomplish by attending uh, the NCBA meeting? Well, I mean, uh, when it comes to the Beef Information Center, we're responsible for marketing the Canadian beef both in Canada and the United States. So the United States is our largest foreign market. And um, so as a result, we need to collaborate with uh, everyone here to, um, to learn about changing issues that are going on in the, in the industry and, um, and uh, take, take knowledge of the shift in demand that we've had over this past year and see if we can't um, be strategic in, in finding some new markets for the Canadian beef here in the United States. Right. So have you uh, found it to be a successful meeting in that regard? Have you had good discussions? Yeah, so we've been at several committee meetings here today, and uh, the last two days we've been, been in several different committee meetings talking about um, uh, merchandising the demand shift for beef and um, uh, beginning to recognize um, some of the changing structure that's taking place within the, within the retailing of the meats that we move here into the uh, United States. Uh, this past year, I mean, I just attended the um, Cattle Facts Outlook uh, conference here in the last few minutes. And, um, it's interesting to note that uh, they predict that their cow slaughter will be down considerably, and the biggest component of the beef that we ship to the United States is trim. Uh, so products that really um, would be uh, <coughs> destined for perhaps for hamburger or for processing, and um, the cow sla they predict the cow slaughter is going to be off perhaps nine, ten percent this particular year in the United States. So the United States will will probably have a, an increased demand, perhaps increase in price on that particular product. So I mean, that, that's important to us. So the industry has been through a lot since 2003. Uh, how have you found uh, the reaction to, the, to us as Canadians uh, being down here? We've been through a lot with our trade, major trade partner, yes. the United States. Do you, do you feel like it's changed at all? Or well, I think what probably uh, interest to note is when we were here a year ago, we weren't in San Antonio, I guess um, we were in uh, Phoenix a year ago uh, for this exact same conference, cool was the issue. And because um, uh, cool had just got legislated in in um, uh, September of uh, 08. And uh, now that we've had more than a year behind us on cool, we felt that um, we at BIC have had some impact to try and mitigate the, um, the price loss due to cool. Right. What have you found uh, kind of the, the feeling down here towards Cool after a year? I would say after a year ago, Cool was talked about by everyone. Uh, now, Cool is uh, very seldom mentioned. Uh, it's, it's not the hot issue here any longer. I mean, they are a little more concerned about government in general um, and how it's um, deflecting some of the, um, some of the business in, in in the meat and beef business here in the United States. But overall, talking about our reception here as Canadians, it's absolutely the very best. Um, the, the, the people at NCBA, all the producers at NCBA, are strong supporters of tr international trade, and um, uh, uh, the Canadian market is well recognized. Like in the Cattle Facts Outlook um, seminar here this morning, uh, they do lay up um, on their graphs um, what's happening in Canada as far as beef production is concerned. So, I mean, they do recognize us as a significant trade partner. And we are their, uh, we are the uh, largest grain-fed exporter of beef in the world, and, and they are our biggest market for this product. So, uh, uh, we've got a very solid business relationship between North and South of the border. You've got to remember there's some common ownership, both in cattle and in the meatpacking business, between North and South. So it's it's a um, it's a very logical relationship that um, that we maintain uh, good ties between the two, the two of us. Good. Well, uh, John, really appreciate you uh, joining us today, and uh, wish you all the best at the meeting. Yeah, thank you.